Hi Key Stage 2, welcome to this week's Big Sing. I hope you're all really well and have had a great week. Today's session we're going to start with our usual warm-ups to get us ready for singing and also for moving around and using our, our brains to really focus on the new music that we're looking at today. Uh, we've got two pieces of music, two songs that we're looking at. Uh, one is the one that we started uh, last session and session before. We're just finishing off and polishing up the last bits of The Power in Me. We'll do that second, the last bit of the session today. Um, but before that, we will be looking at something that's probably quite new to some of you, I would think, um, but could well be an old favourite to some as well. <laughs> Depends how old you are. But certainly it's something that we haven't had a chance to sing together for a very long time. And I thought it would be nice to dust it off and just make sure that when we do get back together again, we've got this lovely song that is a bit of a tradition in the school that we can all sing together. And it's called Give It All You've Got. Yay, say some of you. What's that? Say some of you. Either way, it's fine. We're going to go over it and have a really good time learning it all together. So, let's get ourselves warmed up. First of all, please stand up. So first things first, make sure you've got your lovely singing posture, your feet shoulder width apart, your arms by your sides, straight tall spine, level chin, shoulders nice and wide and open. The checklist that we go through every week just to make sure that we've got our lovely posture and everything lined up to produce the best vocal sound that we possibly can and also be nice and comfortable when we're standing to sing. So also just remember those nice soft knees. Okay, not locked back, but nice and soft, sort of slightly bouncy knees. Okay, so first things first, standing up straight and tall. We're going to go heads down and up and down and up and down and up and down and up. To the side, to the middle, gently side, to the middle and side and middle and side and middle. Shoulders up and down, up and down, up and down and up and down. To the forwards, to the middle, to the back, middle forwards, middle, back, middle. And let's give them a lovely move around, just like that, backwards first of all. And then we're gonna go forwards with your shoulders. Just take them all the way round. Really, really ease them out. If you've been huddled over your desk at home or at school, this is a chance to really loosen everything up. Okay, give them a nice little wriggle. Okay, now reach right up into the air, high as you can, have it lean that way and up. Burn that way and up, well done, and that way and up. Now shake them in front of you, shake your hands, that is, shake your hands and your arms behind you, to the side, up to the top, down again, and have a good old shake round everywhere. Okay, good. Now hands on hips, we're going to do some hula hoops that way first. One, and two, and three, and four. Back the other way, and one and two, well done, and three, and four. Now just grab your balance if you can, put, put your arms out to the side if you need to, if you've got enough space, and we're just gonna shake one leg out. Good, give it a good old shake, right from the hip down. Shake, 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 shake. And the other one, just loosen that leg up. Shake, 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 there I am shaking mine, you can see. <laughs> shake, 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 excellent. And then just have a good old shake out all together. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna center ourselves a little bit, okay? And what we're gonna do, feet shoulder width apart, that's as if I was drawing a line from my shoulders to the floor, it would go through my feet. I'm gonna focus on a spot on the wall in front of me. You find something you can focus on as well. And we're gonna go up very slowly on our toes, our tippy toes. Hold it, see if you can really hold that balance. Your arms are nice and dangly. And then slowly come down again. Okay, let's try that again. So just focus on something in front of you. So like a piece of string pulling you up. You can imagine that with a piece of hair if you like, just don't pull too hard. You're gonna pull up, 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 as high as you can go on those tippy toes, staying nice and focused and balanced. Just hang up there for a minute. Lovely. And then this time you're going to imagine that you're tying that piece of string around a bar and you're going to lower your heels to the floor really, really slowly. Mine are going down as I talk to you. Slowly, 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 slowly. So you're going to try and leave your head up there, but your heels are down and your spine should feel a lovely long feeling as if you've just grown about two centimetres. Okay. So just relax, let's do that one more time. All right, so standing up straight and tall, we're gonna go up to the count of five, we're gonna hold our tippy toes to the count of five, and then we're gonna lower our heels down, but just imagine we've left our 
I'll head up there. Okay, ready, up we go. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it nice and calm and gentle. Two, three, four, five. And now we're going to lower our heels, but keep our head up there as much as we possibly can and feel that lovely lengthening in our spine. Oh, you should feel really nice and tall now, but comfortable, not stiff, nice and tall and stretched out. Okay, lovely. Now what we're going to do is we are going to have a little look at some of our breathing, which sounds a bit silly because we all breathe quite naturally every day without ever thinking about it and it's fine. However, for singing, we do slightly different breathing and it's worth just every now and then checking that we're all doing the same sorts of things that really will help us do our best singing. So we're going to focus on our breathing next. Stay standing. So standing up straight and tall. The first thing to remember is that when we breathe in for singing, we're going to breathe in through our open mouth. We're not going to breathe in through our noses. We're going to breathe in through a mouth. So what we need to do is drop our jaw nice and loose. You hear me say that all the time. Nice loose jaw like that. Okay, we're going to breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. So lovely. So first thing to remember, of course, remember is breathe in through your mouth. Second thing to remember is that you're taking the breath down as low as it can possibly go, as deep down as it possibly can go. Okay, so imagine there's a balloon under here, just under here, and you're going to fill that balloon up with loads of air. Okay, so let's try breathing in again. Ready? Breathe in. Feel the air going down, 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 and filling up that balloon, and then breathe out, okay? Now, one thing you may remember from when we were singing at school is we often have a habit of doing that when we're breathing in. We do our best, best, best breathing in with much, as much effort as possible, and we go, but that actually is so tight, it's no good for singing at all, so your shoulders have to stay down, all right? So just remember that, remember your shoulders when you're breathing in and try also not to lift your chin up when you're breathing in either. So many things to think about, I know. Okay, so standing up straight and tall, remember we're gonna breathe in through our mouth and out through our mouth. Nice relaxed shoulders, taking the air down as deep as it possibly can and thinking about filling up that balloon. And we're gonna do five of those. Ready? Off we go. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well, I've lost count, let's do one more anyway. And that's quite a nice thing to do, not only as a warm up for some good singing, but also if we're feeling a bit stressed or a bit worried or a bit upset or just a bit, oh, just having a moment and concentrating on, on our breathing and doing some breathing in and out like that can just really help us to feel quite calm again. So we've got our bodies warmed up and we've done a bit of a focus on our breathing and just a bit of a check about making sure we're all breathing with a lovely open mouth and, and thinking about breathing nice and deeply and keeping our shoulders relaxed. All of those things we've just been through um, to focus on our breathing. Now we're going to do a bit of voice work, okay? So thinking about the posture that we've worked on, thinking about the breathing that we've just done, let's now move on to getting our voices going. So the first thing I want you to do is just imagine it's really cold outside. You're going to take a singer's breath in and go for me, okay? You're at home on your own, I'm in my study. If you're at school with a few of you around you, you're all doing it together, so don't worry about it, all right? So I'm gonna take a big deep breath in and it's really cold outside. Well done, okay? And now see if you can go up with that. You're gonna go well done, okay? So we'll do one up and one down. Can you make a circle with that sound? You're actually blowing air through your lips. It's like you're going. It's called a lip trill. And it's a really good way of just getting everything nice and moving in our voices without having to work too hard. Okay, so let's see if we can follow my finger. When my finger goes up, you do a higher lip trill. When my finger comes down, you change the pitch, you come a bit lower. Okay, ready? Nice singer's breath in through an open mouth. Breathe in. And let's go together. Off we go. Up. 
<laughs> well done. I hope so. We're going to move into our new song this week, which is Give It All You've Got. Now, like I did say at the beginning, for some of you, this might not be so new. Um, you may have done it last year or the year before. It is a school sort of traditional song that we tend to learn at some point. And then when we can have assemblies all together in the big hall, we can really raise the roof and have a lovely time singing all together. Now, this song has a number of different parts to it, uh, as in different sections. And each of those sections is pretty short, pretty straightforward. And then they're just put together in different, different sequences as the song goes through. Now, the first section goes, give it one, give it two, give it one, two, three. And that's it. Okay. So I think we can probably manage that together. Off we go. Give it one, give it two, give it one, two, three. And again, give it one, give it two, give it one, two, three. One more time. Give it one, give it two, give it one, two, three. Well done. Now with that comes a clapping pattern and the clap goes like this. Give it one, give it two, give it one, two, three. Give it one, give it two, Give it one, two, three. Did you notice what was happening there? I'm sure some of you did. After clap one, after, sorry, after give it one, we clap once. After give it two, we clap twice. After clap three, we clap three times, but instead of coming in the rest, the gap in between, as we have done with clap one and clap two, with clap three, there isn't quite enough room to get all three of those in, so we start it on the word three, all right? So one and two come in the rest, the gap where nothing's going on and three comes on the word three so let's try it in slow motion now that we've thought about that ready off we go give it one give it two give it one two three all right try that one more time give it one give it two give it one two three good okay so you can see we slowed down the tempo there a little bit, the speed of it, made it a bit slower, just so our brains could get around the clapping pattern. Now that we've got it, let's speed it up a little bit and get it to what the actual tempo will be like. Ready? Off we go. Give it one, give it two, give it one, two, three. Good. Now, at the beginning, that little pattern there comes four times. Okay, we have a bit of introductory music, which I'll play to you in a minute. And then we say that four times. Or do we say it? Hmm. Are we speaking when we say it? When we do it? Not really. Are we singing? Not really. It's kind of like a halfway, isn't it? Between speaking and singing. Hmm. Like a chanting voice or a rap? So it's a special kind of heightened speaking voice. It's not quite singing, but it's very rhythmic. It's very interesting and energetic. So let's have a go at doing that again now, using our rap or our chanting voice. Off we go. Give it one. Give it two. Give it one, two, three. Give it one. Give it two. Give it one, two, three. Give it one. Give it two. Give it one, two, three. Last time, give it one. Give it two. Give it one, two, three. After that first rap section, we then move into the chorus, which you may remember is a section in a song that comes back the same every time. The same music, the same lyrics, the chorus. And it goes like this. Here come the words and the rhythm to start with. It goes, we are the children of St. Eneswith School. Try and get that all together. Ready? Off we go. We are the children of St. Eneswith School. Go. We are the children of St. Eames with school. Good. Next bit goes. We take a pride in the things we do. Your turn. We take a pride in the things we do. My turn. Learning together and having fun. Your turn. Learning together and having fun. My turn. Who's for a good day? Everyone. Your turn. Who's for a good day? everyone fantastic so let's go back to the beginning of that again and i'll now do two lines together before you copy see if we can get it into our heads okay ready steady off i go we are the children of saint eames with school 
We take a pride in the things we do. Your turn. We are the children of St. Eamswith School. We take a pride in the things we do. Brilliant! Next bit goes. My turn. Learning together and having fun. Who's for a good day? Everyone. Your turn. Learning together and having fun. Who's for a good day? Everyone. Wonderful. Okay. Then as soon as that chorus is finished, it goes straight into give it one, give it two, give it one, two, three just like the beginning, but this time we're going to do it twice, okay? So, the reason that I mentioned that give it one, give it two again is because the end of the chorus finishes with that everyone, and we have to make sure that we don't hang on to the everyone and enjoy the shouting too much because we'll miss the next bit of the rap. Okay, so... The chorus, back to this bit again, we've done the rhythm and the lyrics together, but there is actually some pitch in there as well. So it's not our chanting or rap voice we need for this, it is our singing voice. So in the same way that we learned the rap very quickly, by me singing and you copying, we're going to do the same thing again now, okay? We are the children of St. Teens with School. Your turn. We are the children of St. Teens with School. Good. We take a pride in the things we do. Your turn. We take a pride in the things we do. Good. Learning together and having fun. Your turn. Learning together and having fun. My turn. Who's for a good day? Everyone. Your turn. Who's for a good day? Everyone. Brilliant. So it's quite repetitive, isn't it? La, 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 la. And there's something with the beat that's going on there, isn't it? It's kind of a bit, a bit groovy. I wonder if you know what that's called when we're playing around with the strong and the weak beats there. And it's not quite like we're expecting it to be, is it? I call it my shoulder shimmer. Those of you who are in year six, I think, I think you might know what I mean. I'll tell you at the end, there's a special word for it in music. Okay, let's go back to the chorus. We, there's a starting note, let's sing it all together. Off we go. We are the children of St. Teens with school. We take a pride in the things we do. Learning together and having fun. Who's for a good day? Everyone! Now remember, we're using our shouting voice there, and that is perfectly okay, as long as we take a big, deep breath, and we support the sound really well, so sitting up nice and straight and tall, and we do only shout for that word there. All right, so we've got our rapping voice at the beginning, we've got our singing voice for the chorus, we've got our shouting voice for everyone, and then we're straight back into our rap voice again, or our chanting voice for give it one, give it two, but as you remember, that only comes twice at that point. Gosh, that's a lot so far. But we have actually got sections one and two learnt really well. Now we've got the verses to focus on. One comes really quickly, as does verse two, actually. The tempo is incredibly fast. So we're going to slow down the speed, the tempo, while we learn it bit by bit. And then once we're confident that our brains can get round all those words, we'll speed it up again. All right. So here comes verse one. Give it all you got because you really got a lot. Okay, so far, give it a go. Give it all you got, because you've really got a lot. Let's say that three times it's got in our heads. Ready, steady, off we go. Give it all you got, because you've really got a lot. And again. Give it all you got, because you've really got a lot. Last time, it's getting better. Off we go. Give it all you got, because you've really got a lot. Wonderful. Okay. So as well as breaking things down into smaller chunks and slowing them down, so our brain has got a chance to sort of compute all of it, it's also really good to repeat things because that, again, gives us a chance to practice, gets it into our head, gives us a chance to really get to grip with what's going on. And these are useful tips for all sorts of things when we have to learn. OK, so next bit goes, give it heart, give it mind, give it soul, don't stop. Give it heart, give it mind, give it soul, don't stop. OK, so let's do really slowly to start with. Ready? Off we go. Give it heart, give it mind. Give it soul, don't stop. And again, give it heart, give it mind, give it soul, don't stop. Okay, 
Now the rhythm is twice as fast as that, so I'll show you how it's going to go. Give it heart, give it mind, give it soul, don't stop. Let's do that three times. Ready, steady, off we go. Give it heart, give it mind, give it soul, don't stop. Give it heart, give it mind, give it soul, don't stop. Give it heart, give it mind, give it soul, don't stop. Good. That is verse one. Now, verse one is repeated. There is a repeat, which means we go back to the beginning of verse one and we do the whole thing two times through before going back to the chorus. OK, so let's do that now. Ready, steady, off we go. Give it all you got because you really got a lot. Give it heart, give it mind, give it soul, don't stop. Give it all you got because you really got a lot. Give it heart, give it mind, give it soul, don't stop. Yes, well done. Then we go back to the chorus. We are the children of St. Teens with school, etc, etc, etc. Then we come into verse two, which again is your chanting voice. Same sort of rhythms, just slightly different uh, lyrics. So it goes like this. Everyone is special. Everybody has gifts. And I always trip over that. So it's worth practicing that one. Everyone, the first line has everyone is special. The second line is everybody has gifts. Everyone is special. Everybody has gifts. Ready, try it, off you go. Everyone is special. Everybody has gifts. Well done. Next bit goes, so we're going to work together. So we're going to work together. Oh, I'm so glad we warmed up our faces and got our all our diction muscles going earlier on. So we're going to work together and we're going to learn to give. Try it again. So we're going to work together and we're going to learn to give. Good. Let's put that whole thing together from the beginning. And remember, like verse one, we do the whole thing twice. There is a repeat. OK, so everyone is special. Ready, steady, all together. Off we go. Everyone is special. Everybody has gifts. So we're going to work together and we're going to learn to give. Everyone is special. Everybody has gifts. So we're going to work together and we're going to learn to give. And then straight away we're into give it one, give it two, give it one, two, three. And just like before, it comes twice. OK, then we have verse one. Then we have verse two. The structure of it is is interesting. <laughs> I can never remember how it works. I have to have my music in front of me. So what I'm going to do now, so you can see, and that's the best way to do it actually, how it all fits together, is by doing it. So I'm now going to play for you uh, the soundtrack with all the backing music and everything on it, and also the words, the lyrics, as you need them. You know all the ingredients, all the bits of the song now, all the different sections. It's just a case of where they come. And as I say, the best way to do that it's just by doing it. So here comes the video. Have a good sing. If it goes a bit wrong, doesn't matter. We're practicing. All right. No one's going to be sitting here with a clipboard giving us marks out of 10. We're having fun. OK, who's for a good day? Everyone having fun. OK, so have a go at that and I'll see you at the end.
and that is a really fun song for us all to sing together and remind ourselves to give it all we've got because we've all got a lot <laughs> okay and another song that we've been singing recently over the last two sessions that reminds us that we have got the power in us to make a change is the power in me now we pretty much finished it in the last session but I did say there's a little bit of polishing up to do um, and a little bit of learning of that very very brief harmony in the section in the middle the we got the power bit so we're going to focus on that today but first just to get us into the groove and remind us how the song goes as well as the actions that I showed you last week the 2020 version that never quite got done because they didn't have the concerts last year however we've got the choreography I have unearthed found the uh, Urban Strides uh, videos with Andy leading them and if you haven't seen Andy before you're in for a treat um, because he's very enthusiastic jumps around even more than I do so I thought rather than me jumping around and going over the actions for you this week I would just put that video in for you to have a look at so here is Andy from Urban Strides who actually choreographed this song for last year's uh, uh, Young Voices that sadly couldn't go ahead but there are plans afoot for all things next year and they're really good dance moves so I thought well why not just learn them anyway and then when we're back together we can do them all together so here is Andy from Urban Strides showing you the first breakdown for The Power In Me enjoy and make sure you've got lots of space around you I love this song I love it with my whole face and everything. It's called The Power of Me, and it's what I really stand for. Uh, everything we do at Urban Strides and at Young Voices is about personal empowerment, and even just remembering how super mega awesome we can be if we just believe in ourselves, and we just remind ourselves how incredible we are and what we're capable of. That's why I love it, because it reminds me, and it reminds you guys as well, what we can achieve when we really look deep inside ourselves, and we really put the work in, and we really go for it. That's why I love this song. I can't wait for this to the concert. You might tell I'm so excited. On that side. So this section one is going to be a chorus and a chorus goes in exactly the same every single time except for right at the end as a slightly different change but we'll show you that in section two. So this chorus, the two bars or the count of eight before the chorus when the lyrics say I and they always change a little bit but the movement say the same I and then it goes from within we do four counts and then we drop down on the beat boom then it goes I got the power in me, you got the power in you. I've got the gold from P of power, power, bring it down to your chest, put, put, power, got the power, bring it in, me. Then we're gonna take it back. Nobody's gonna hold me, and imagine someone's trying to restrain you, you push back, hold me back. Nobody's gonna silence, my words, throw it down on words. Nobody's gonna close my mind. I've got the power in me. With strength and power. Let's do it, DJ. I told you Andy was good fun, didn't I? I hope you really enjoyed working with him on the choreography for that section of Power In Me. Now, the very last bit we've got to look at before we really have got the whole song learnt is the section near the end where there is just a tiny, tiny bit of harmony just over the top. In fact, I'm fairly certain a lot of you who are listening and working on it from last week's video will have heard it and learnt it anyway. But just to make absolutely sure that we're all doing the same thing, let's just go over it now. And for those of you that aren't sure which bit I mean, it's the bit that goes, we got the power, you got the power, I got the power, the power in me. It's that bit there where I was trying to show you all the arms and things for that, that section, got myself tied up in a right old pretzel. Don't worry, I've got Andy here to help us with that this week. Anyway, back to the singing. So it's a section that goes, we got the power. And if you remember, as there's lots of things in this song, it comes four times. The first two times, it's just on its own plane. 
but then the second two times there's a little bit that goes over the top. We got the power, got the power. So it's we got the power, got the power. I got the power, got the power. So it comes twice, okay? We got the power, got the power. Then you hear, you got the power, got the power. I got the power, I got the power in me. So you can hear, you've got to be listening out for the main part going on that we've learned already. And then it kind of overlaps. All right, so I'll give you the cues. Then I'll sing a bit louder, the bit that we're focusing on right now, the harmony bit. And then we'll have a go with the track and hopefully that should be it learnt. Okay, so we'll get to that section there and you'll hear the main part going, we got the power. And then you're sort of going to be a little echo going, got the power. Okay, next bit goes, you've got the power. And we're going to echo, got the power. Then we hear, I got the power. And then you overlap it, I got the power in me. Okay, let's have a go with the backing track. It all makes a bit more sense then. And I'm sure, as I said, a lot of you will have it in your brains anyway. Here it comes. We got the power. You got the power. First time. I got the power. The power in me. This is the second time. We got the power. You this got is the, the main power. part here. We got the power. Got the power. You got the power. Got the power. I got the power. I got the power in me. We got the power. Got the power. You got the power. Got the power. I got the power. I got the power in me. And then we go into the rocking out section, and from here to the end, we know it. So all that remains now is to put all those sections together with the choreography and we have ourselves a whole song with a little tiny bit of harmony and tons of choreography. So for the singing part this week, singing all the way through, I have got a different video. I have actually got the Urban Strides video again uh, with Andy leading all the sections that have got a choreography. So don't worry if you get a blank screen for a bit, you will hear the music, the words will come up if you can't see Andy, it just means that there's no choreography at that bit there. It's just a case of moving around, enjoying the beat, doing your own thing. And then when the chorus comes up, -ching, Andy will appear and he'll help you with the choreography for that bit there. And then for the we got the power, we got the power that bit there, he will also ping back and remind you how the arms go for that. And then he'll show you the ending as well. So here comes the power in me in all its glory with Urban Strides Andy showing us the choreography from beginning to end. Have a really good sing and dance. When the race is nearly done and I feel I like can't go on, I know I can do something about it. My heart will start to race. My body finds the motion and I will feel empowered from within. I've got the power in me. You've got the power in you. I've got the power, p -p power. Got the power in me. Nobody's gonna hold me back. Nobody's gonna silence my words. Nobody's gonna close my mind. I've got the power in me. When someone's needing help and the world just walks on by, I know I can do something about it. I'll stand up for their rights. My voice will find the words, and I will feel empowered from within. I've got the power in me. You've got the power in you. I've got the power, p -p power. Got the power in me. Nobody's gonna hold me back. Nobody's gonna silence my words. Nobody's gonna close my mind. I've got the power in me. When my mind is closing down and I'm lacking inspiration, I know. Can 
can't stop me learning. Creep.